Yo, the day has finally come. Uh, what's up, everybody? We're back here at the shop with Brzezicki Brothers Performance. And yep, as you can see, the day has finally come. It's been a while since we touched the uh, street sleeper. And we're about to show you what's up. So let's take a look. So as you can see, we got the new transmission in, and we're finally ready to install it. Um, we got this from Power by the Hour. Um, it's a built transmission. I guess it's got the clutches and shaft and a couple little other goodies. Um, this is a truck case. So with the truck case, um, you have to buy or make the bracket that they make. Power by the hour makes this bracket so you can use the uh, shifter and the shifter cable. Um, we got some starter shims just in case. We didn't need them before, but I don't know how much difference of those truck cases than the Mustang case. And then this is all the stuff that was on there that we took off. The aluminum drive shaft. We got the whole catalog of BMR. BMR makes some good products. No, I'm not sponsored, but hey, if they want to send me some free stuff, so be it. Um, we got we got the a dipstick for it now. Um, this is the dipstick we're going to be using so we can fill it. Um, the 6R80 dipstick and filler tube. Um, and then this is the transmission fluid we're going to be running in it. The Merc on Motorcraft. Um, we probably could use a new heat wrap for the starter, the Ford Racing starter, um, all the hardware, bag and tag, baby. Um, finally get to reuse the um, torque converter. Uh, got the new bolts with the Loctite. The Circle D torque converter. That was in the car. We just sent it out a while ago to get it checked just in case because the last time we were at the track, we broke a seal. Um, still haven't really figured that out. Uh, we might have blew the front pump seal. So we just ended up getting a whole new transmission for the street sleeper uh, we got the old transmission right here we may be break into it one day and take a look um, we were going to send it back for a core but it was just cheaper just to keep it shipping is outrageous so this is the uh, part slew that we're going to um install back in it's been a while probably over a year since we touched this car and the last time we drove it we were at the track and like i said we blew the seal in it and broke it um it was drivable but it was just leaking transmission fluid so i just finished wiping underneath of it <clears throat> pretty sweet setup under here pretty clean um, I wiped it down Not really too much fluid or anything. It was down here. So This is the harness the shifter cable that will wrap Route it on top of the transmission The flex plate factory flex plate So like I said, we got the whole BMR catalog now when we got this towed in an old video, I showed it. 
you could see this bracket for the control arm right there is all bent up. Now we might be able to bend it back and fix it, but that might be a weak spot or um, we might just end up getting a new one. Same thing over here. I don't know if they hooked it in and tied it down, but you could see this side ain't as super bad, but I just want to give you a little quick look of underneath of it again. The whole BMR catalog, K member, A arms, the rad support, the stiff stiffener bracket. Then the BMR safety loop that we have sitting for the transmission. We got the control arm relocation brackets, the BMR springs, the adjustable pan hard bar. Um, and you can see we got the tubes are welded on a rear 8.8, the locker, factory gears. I wanna say they're 311s or 315s, I'm not sure, I forget. Uh, we got the Viking double adjustables back here. Stock brakes in the rear. Lower control arm. Um, and you can see the upper control arm, adjustable upper. We also painted the rear end after we got the tubes welded. Um, and then nothing special up here for the suspension. Some Coney oranges and some BMR springs. The bare race brakes. Um, you can see the BMR motor mounts. So, we've been doing a lot of BMR stuff. They're pretty stout. Product. Um, been on this car for quite a few miles, a few years, tons of track runs, tons of track runs now that this has thousand horsepower car. Uh, you can see the drag wheels may eventually get it to the track one day. But for now, we're back on the street sleeper, the twin turbo Coyote convertible S197. And it's that time. A little bit of an upgraded 6R80 transmission. This is what the transmission is looking like right now. Um, and that's where the fill tube will go after we get it in um, we got the cross member on there need to tighten up the bolts um, get some fluid and a torque converter and then we'll get the uh, Installing this. So with that being said, keep hitting them like, share, and subscribe buttons. Keep tuned in, and you know what to do till that next video. Peace.